Let's walk through an elite wide receiver performance training session focusing on linear change of direction. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is Ryan Davis. Ryan Davis is an absolute pleasure to work with. He's an elite wide receiver. He's the all-time leading receiver at Auburn. He's played a stint in the NFL, in the CFL, and is constantly working on his craft with me. What we focused on in this particular training session is just being able to elevate his ability to rapidly change direction while accelerating linearly. And this is something that all wide receivers need. So like we typically do, first and foremost, we got through our warm up, we got through our movement prep from a change of direction standpoint, and we even did some plyometrics that are gonna support some of the cuts that he's performing in this actual training session. The first things you wanna do is you wanna focus on your linear deceleration. We started off with a series of three progressive drills simply to enhance Ryan's ability to decelerate. First one we did was gonna be a multi-step where the athlete doesn't have to come to a complete stop. The next one was a multi-step and where the athlete comes to a complete stop. And then the final one is a single leg dead stop where it places the most amount of stress on that single leg to really absorb force and just rapidly decelerate through a single leg. So those drills essentially flow into our next set of series, which are gonna be linear change of direction drills. Now all of these drills are gonna go in the same progressive manner where they're gonna go from the most simple to the most difficult. And we do that by essentially increasing the angle at which the athlete needs to cut. So to start off, we started off with a basic Y cut. Essentially where the athlete is accelerating linearly and they make a very basic cut at a very small angle. This is predetermined. Again, we're just taking what we did with the plyometrics and we're integrating it by essentially being able to work those same cuts where the athlete is planting their foot in the ground and diverting force. What's up athletes? Hey, real quick, let me introduce you to OTA Pro. So this is the official training app for overtime athletes. With over nine programs and growing, essentially what I've done is I've compiled my best-selling programs, whether that be speed, vertical jump, agility, muscle gaining, strength. I've literally laid out every single movement, rep set, and in addition to that, I have videos that walk you through exactly how to do it. So if you're looking for a proven program that guarantees results, it's literally at your fingertips right now. And the best part is you can get this for the price of a couple Chipotle bowls. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link down below. Let's dominate. The next from there, we're doing the same thing with that Y cut. We're just making it a little bit more aggressive. After that, we're then gonna go to a full 90. And the full 90 is the most aggressive in the linear series where the athlete has to charge the line, completely divert force laterally into a 90 degree cut and then go ahead and produce force linear again in that same 90 degree fashion. Now, after we went through that linear progressive series, we went from smallest angle to the most aggressive to that 90 degree. Now we're actually gonna continue to progress this into some basic 180 degree turns. What you're gonna see here is just like we did before, we're gonna progress it from the most simple where it's a 180 degree turn at not as aggressive as an angle and then we're gonna end up performing some where the athlete has to perform a full 180, which is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more aggressive for the athlete. Now, after that, as we know in football, not everything is angular cuts. In fact, a lot of these athletes, when they're reacting to stimulus on the field, whether that be a defender or an offender, what you wanna be able to do is also incorporate curvy linear, where the athlete is moving in more arcs, quarter arcs, half circles, and they're essentially bending as opposed to putting their foot into the ground. Now, if you actually break this down and you watch an athlete who is running in a curve, a lot of times what happens is it's not predetermined which leg is going to make that cut. Both legs have different responsibilities where the inside or outside leg can be pushing off in the direction the athlete wants to go in. So we're gonna start to incorporate some real basic quarter arc and start to move that to some half figure eights into some full figure eights down into our serpentine runs where these are basically linear sprints, but the athlete is gonna have to produce and accelerate force by basically crossing over those feet, which you're gonna see if you break down film, whether that be in their stem or after catch when they're trying to essentially manipulate their bodies to produce as much amount of force, as much amount of speed as they possibly can. Then from there, we got into our strength drills. We did a little bit of resistance on a change of direction to be able to support what he was doing here. 
and then we got into the rest of our strength training. So there you have it, guys. I wanted to walk you through a full training session from a performance coaching standpoint of how I'm elevating and enhancing a wide receiver. It's not that I'm getting out there on the field and I'm really teaching technique of how to change direction. More or less what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to enhance his ability to make these cuts. We've been having great success with Ryan. Look forward to watching him on the field. I hope this helps for some of you wide receivers out there and I'll talk to you guys next time.